headers, shifters, diffs, tea buckets, and O of V8. All the required items to claim membership of the Hot Rod Club. The typical hot rod is a massively modified version of a US built car with a large American V8 up front for straight line speed. Evolving all the way from customized 1920 series production cars to major manufacturers efforts to bring the hot rod to Hollywood with the Holden Effigy concept vehicle. In Japan they might do the hot rod a little bit different but these original versions of classic super mods deserve full club membership like this mobile casino that includes a slot machine installed on one side of the car and a fish tank with live fish installed on the other side. When the terms Sweden and car come together, one doesn't normally visualize an image of a hot rod. Leif Tuvesen, one of Sweden's most skilled specialist car constructors, is about to change any preconceived notions you may have. Tuvesen, who previously worked for the Volvo Concept Center, has designed two original hot rods that have well and truly removed any doubt as to Swedish street credibility. Having previously won the prestigious Hot Rod of the Year award from Hot Rod magazine, Tuvesen has now turned his talents to reinventing the hot rod. The V8-powered Caresto Speedster has been carefully handcrafted into life under the watchful Tuvesen gaze. Thanks to the mid-engine layout, this sports rod has an ideal 60-40 back-to-front weight distribution and is completely constructed from aluminium and carbon fibre with an advanced sports car chassis fitted with Olin's shock absorbers. The steering wheel, instruments and gear selector come from Volvo, as does the V8 engine, the six-speed automatic transmission and the car's electrical system. For an even greater challenge, Leif Tuvesen took the 1927 OV4, the very first series production Volvo, and created the Jacob Hot Rod. The idea was to build a, a hot rod of an old world Volvo. Parked side by side, the similarities between old and new are remarkable, including the curvature of the bonnet, which has exactly the same radius. The distinctive widescreen pillar that runs down the body side is faithful to the original, even down to small details such as the number of screws used. Equally identical is the radiator grille with its characteristic mesh pattern and diagonal bar that incorporates the classic iron symbol. The body has been built by hand from raw aluminium panels that were bent into their final shape using a hammer and English wheel, exactly as it was done in the prototype workshop back in the 1920s. The two-seater Jacob is far smaller than the original four-seater and features a carbon fibre body incorporating typical minimalist design of the traditional hot rod. 